What up, what up, my turn it in a mo fam. This your boy Southside Black. Turn it in a mo. I wanna come up here today and make a quick video talking about AI, artificial intelligence, robots. You know what I'm saying? Because this is really replacing humans with a lot of jobs. You know what I'm saying? Taking over a lot of our jobs. You know what I'm saying? Basically, if your job could be automated, most likely it will be. You know what I'm saying? And the way it's looking, it's going to be pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? And two general things that, you know, I could say that robots can't really do, at least as good as humans, and that's think creatively and intelligently you know what i'm saying like they could they could all um, be updated and stuff like that but it still take humans to create the updates and stuff like that so they could really only do what they're programmed to do you know what i'm saying so i want to make a video discussing some of the industries that's going to be affected by artificial intelligence some of the industries that's not going to be affected by artificial intelligence and i got like some video footage that i captured personally you know what i'm saying in a, a department store walmart and you know it's, it's showing it like live in effect you know what i'm saying like it's crazy and i i ran across a picture too you know what i'm saying it's showing like um robots flipping burgers or whatever it did it's just a picture though you know what i'm saying i'm talking about i got some footage you know uh showing how amazon um uh, pushing this on um, drone delivery agenda it's a lot you know what i'm saying so without too much more being said let's get into the video turn it in the mouth turn it in the mouth turn it in the mouth, turn it in the mouth. Go get that dough and we gon' turn it in the mold. Free up and go and we gon' turn it in the mold. We make that cash go and then we turn it in the mold. No, we ain't running low cause we gon' turn it in the mold. Nah, we already been seen or we've been seeing how they replacing cashiers, you know what I'm saying? With um self checkouts and things like that, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much a no brainer. They had a, 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 a picture where McDonald's was doing, you know, you could pretty much use the screen and order what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if they was using that. They got to be using it. You know what I'm saying? But it was a picture I seen a while ago. You know what I'm saying? And with that, that picture is just a representation of, you know, more jobs being replaced by computers, robots, artificial intelligence, you know what I'm saying? But cashiers, that's definitely one, you know what I'm saying? Travel agents, that's another, you know what I'm saying? Because with sites like Booking.com and I think another one is uh, Expedia or something like that, you know what I'm saying? With with sites like these, you know, it's it, it, you, you pretty much don't need no travel agent, you know what I'm saying? And like I said about the you know, with the with the uh, robots, with the spatula and stuff like that, and artificial um intelligence with the um cashiers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Taking over, and you know, pretty much like that whole thing. That just go to show you how fast food gonna be hit with with AI. You know what I'm saying? Bank tellers being replaced with um. ATMs and stuff, you know what I'm saying, so that's another job, you know what I'm saying, another industry that's going to be hit by AI, now package delivery, you know what I'm saying, for Amazon, for sure, they look like they're going to be the first ones to be hit, you delivering packages for Amazon, you may be in trouble soon, your job may be in trouble soon, but, you know, it might, um, you know, uh, transition over to other companies like FedEx and UPS as well. 
I'm gonna show this video of um you know the drone delivery and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you. And shout out to Papa Duck. You know I got this footage from him. You know what I'm saying he be speaking on this uh subject too as well. You know what I'm saying. And Amazon is just getting started with automation. They're working on drone-based delivery. They're going to have self-driving trucks. The workers put stuff in boxes. But there's no reason why robots couldn't do that as well. But when it comes to what we'll all do for a living... I see millions of jobs in every industry being wiped out. Not only does Bruno make a great artisanal pizza pie, he never calls in sick. For argument's sake, it's a he. He never needs a vacation, no pension or benefits, and he doesn't complain. In many ways, he's the perfect employee. In five years, you may even have a drone or a self-driving car delivering your pizza. And that means highly educated and high-paying jobs are the next big target. The concern, if people don't take this seriously, they'll be left without work. Think about banking. ATMs started replacing bank tellers in the 90s. Not that long ago, Goldman Sachs employed 600 highly paid U.S. cash equity traders. Today, there are just two. They get the same amount of work done with the help of 200 computer engineers. Outsiders would necessarily know that people are losing their jobs to software. But as an employee of the bank, you know, it was everywhere. So everyone was aware of it. I witnessed about 40% of my department get laid off, and the reason they were given was automation. Um, when the layoffs started, um, they, the first round was without warning, and it was about 20% of our department. The department itself was about 130 people. And then we learned that you know, further automation was going to occur, and that this just wasn't the first time. So people started worrying a lot, thinking, oh, I'm next on the chopping block. Really, nobody's immune from this, and we all need to prepare as if uh, this might be coming and affecting our jobs, no matter what we do. Waiters and waitresses is one example. Uh, truck drivers is another. Forklift drivers. Did accountants and auditors. Um, cashiers. People working in retail. Even umpires, interestingly, referees. Now, another the industry that's gonna be hit by AI is janitorial services. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, you know, what I seen in Walmart, that's, you know, really what it was doing. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning the flows. Matter of fact, let me show y'all that video. And it's another video I seen where uh, the robots was cleaning the toilets and stuff. Like, if I could find it, I'm gonna put it on here too if I can't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put it on now. But, you know, I wanna show y'all this video and hopefully I can find the other video too. AI, man. AI in full effect. Coming to a city near you. Nobody on that bitch. That's crazy. Robots taking over. And one more industry that I want to mention that is going to be hit by um, AI is manufacturer workers, you know, factory workers or whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much self-explanatory. They already got like 
assembly belts and stuff like that that they been doing already anyway. So that ain't going to be too hard for them to do. So, you know, it's a lot of industries. It's a lot of industries that's going to be hit. I just named some. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's going to be more. You know what I'm saying? And as more information come out and as I do more research, I know I'm going to end up making... Uh, another video or two or more about the subject, you know what I'm saying, about AI, you know what I'm saying, because it's, it's something big that we really got to look out for. Now, I want to talk about some industries that's pretty much AI proof, you know what I'm saying, and shout out to alux.com, you know, um, a lot of this information that I got came from them, you know. They do a lot of research and stuff like that, you know, make it easier for me sometimes. But, you know, I still like to do my own research. But, you know, one industry is the medical industry. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, we, people gonna need medical attention, you know, regardless, you know what I'm saying? Robots can't fix, you know, um, people break, breaking whatever, they break a leg or something like that or, Whatever type of medical condition they may have, you know what I'm saying, or need uh, need to seek medical attention for, you know, that's pretty much a, a safe industry from AI, at least for right now, you know what I'm saying, at least, you know, um, so far looking into the future. Now, another one is uh, psychology, you know what I'm saying, uh, psychologists. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the mental health industry, things like that. You know, that, of course, that's still going to be around. You know what I'm saying? And when robots actually hit, and it'd be a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Because it did hit, but, you know, when it's really, really in effect, you know, we're going to need robot mechanics and, you know, technicians or whatever. People who working on the robots, like I was saying with the updates and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So... That'll be an industry for you right there. Now, the entertainment industry, not going to be as hit, hit, you know, really hit. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen something about, like, actors, you know, they could be replaced, you know what I'm saying? Because you got uh, Disney and um, companies like that using Pixar and whatever these little digital characters and stuff like that. So, they kind of already been doing that anyway. But, yeah, like. They got, I'm talking about technology, well, pretty much they, don't, they ain't going to really even need actors. You know what I'm saying? They, you might have to, uh, you know, sell your rights to your voice and your your per personality and stuff like that. But, man, this is it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But that's another one, entertainment industry. That's one of my industries. That's my main industry pretty much, you know, at least for right now. Another industry which is also an industry I'm into, is real estate. Now, with real estate, you know, real estate ain't going nowhere. People are always going to need a place to live. I don't care how many robots. As long as we got humans on this earth, real estate is going to be essential. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need to really speak on that too much. You know what I'm saying? Real estate, that's AI proof for sure, for sure. And another one that I want to mention is elderly care. You know what I'm saying? Elderly care, you know, that's something that's AI proof too. You know what I'm saying? People get old. Humans get old. And, you know, once they get older, you know, people be, they be wanting to make sure they get the proper uh, attention, proper treatment and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because their kids be off doing whatever they need to do. And, you know, they don't want to be a burden to their kids and stuff like that. Some people take on that challenge but a lot of people they just put their uh parents and stuff in retirement homes nursery homes or whatever you know and you know go from there you know what i'm saying they be there till they till they pass away to the end of their life or whatever but you know what i'm saying that's some industries that's pretty much ai proof you know what i'm saying and like i say as of right now the main two th main two industries my main two industries you know what i'm saying besides my brand and just doing what I do to help, you know what I'm saying, my turning into more family is the entertainment industry, 
the real estate industry, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you don't necessarily have to be in those industries. You pretty much just need to um, make sure that you transition into an industry that is AI-proof or, you know what I'm saying, make yourself more valuable to the to the to the world basically you know and to where you, you you can't be replaced by robots you know what i'm saying make sure that you can't be automated you know what i'm saying and you know and like i say as i find out more information about this you know like i'm gonna continue giving y'all the information you know, as I find out and do more research and find out about this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I've been really wanting to make this video, but you know what I'm saying? I wanted to have at least enough information to give y'all some things that y'all could, you know, actually apply and start, you know, looking into and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to give y'all that information, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to leave... A link to Alux, two videos where I found some of this information from the footage, uh, the drones and stuff that I got from Papa Duck. I'm gonna leave his link to his channel or whatever, or, or that video, you know what I'm saying, so y'all can see what his thoughts on it, you know what I'm saying, and you know, we'll go from there, you know what I'm saying. So, until next time, y'all, you know, like the video, share the video with. You know, this is an important one. You might want to share this with everybody you know. You know what I'm saying? And leave leave your thoughts below, you know, in the comments. What the world, leave your thoughts and stuff. And, y'all, don't forget to turn it in the mo. We got to turn it in the mo. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Southside Black. We up and going, we gon' turn it in the mo. We bring the cash flowing, then we turn it in the mo. No way in running low, cause we gon' turn it in the mo. Yeah, all I know is stack it, flip it. I 